celebrate you, Mr. Damon. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to tip the cake, but I'm going to give you two pieces of advice here, whatever it's worth, very quickly. I didn't have a chance to counsel with him. I've known Tim, and you know, I just got here a few days ago. But there's just two things that I've learned in my own experiences. The Apostle Paul gave a command one time in the book of Ephesians, in chapter 4, if I take my word for it, he said, about 12, 13, 14, he said, speak the truth in love. And that to me is one of the keys of life in marriage I've found. Most marital conflict and arguments are truth telling times. You see, in marriage, you get to know one person more than any other human being on this planet, and you see them warts and all, the good and the bad, you know, the curlers in the morning, the toothpaste left over, you know, the passing gas in the bed, you know, all that stuff, you know, you get, you, get, you, get, you get the whole nine yards, you know, you get the whole nine yards in, in marriage, you know, the stuff that you don't do romantically, you know, that's what marriage is really, you know, all about. Is that a smile or something about that? that is <laughs> but you get to know somebody. And so, you know the truth about that person. And how you handle that truth, I found, is how that, well, that marriage is going to make it or not. If you know how to tell the truth in love, it'll make it. If you just know how to tell the truth, it's going to be an ugly mess. And I'll tell you, there's nothing worse than truth sessions. So God meant truth to be like a surgeon's scalpel, not like a butcher's beak too often in the way in marriages we use truth about each other like any truth. So speak the truth in love. And the other one's another simple one. It's just the text you just read said, love is forgiving. Buddy, that's what we need a lot, a lot in this world. Uh, it's something that you just need to learn to practice. Forgiveness is not hard. It's just doing it. So it's hard. It's not knowing what it is. or It's just doing it. And that's a practice. And I think if you learn to speak the truth in love, Learn to forgive. And I think 90% of the marriages that practice that will make it. It will go the distance. Even though less than half of our marriages do that nowadays, I think the marriage that practices that got a real good chance to go all the way to that. Well, now we come to the important part. I now speak to Timothy and Amy of love, in which the trust and freedom of the other person becomes as significant as the trust and freedom of oneself. I speak to them of generosity, which gathers the beauty of the earth for riches and the kindness which turn away the wrath of foolish men and women. I speak of all our hopes for their continued growth through patience, patience, one for the other. May Timothy and Amy keep the vows made on this day in freedom teaching each other who they are, what they shall do, enabling them to know that in the fullness of being, they are more than themselves and more than each other, that they are all of us, and that together we share joyously the fruits of life on this earth, our home. what's called the unity ceremony. 
got for me. May this ring forever be to you the symbol of my growing life. May this ring forever be the symbol. May these two find happiness in their union. May they live faithfully together, executing the vows which they've made between them. And may they ever remain compassionate and encouraging, that their years may be rich with the joys of life, and their days be long upon the earth. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You kiss your wife. It's my privilege and joy to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Timothy 